You went yeah. to UCLA. You're a big Bruins fan. Uh, but Bruins football, not your favorite sport, you were telling me. I think uh, NASCAR, you're a big uh, car racing fan. Yeah, well, so, I mean, I, I was a college football fan back, you know, back when it was still Pac-10. Ten years ago was probably the last time I've been to a UCLA game at the Rose Bowl. Um, so embarrassingly sort of just moved away from I'll still watch it every now and then, uh, but I'm not as up to it as I, as I have been. NASCAR, oddly, the last couple of years I've gotten really into. I'm a Jersey kid, so there wasn't a whole lot of NASCAR growing up. Um, but in the last couple of years, really got into it, really liked the, the combination of the actual racing with things like engineering and physics that actually go into it. And then, you know, the soap opera of the drivers sometimes beating the crap out of each other. You know, <laughs> That's always doesn't hurt. Pits. Yeah. You got a favorite driver? Uh, yeah, you know, I like Logano a lot. Uh -huh. I think the last couple of years especially, he's kind of come up into his own. He, he was this sort of young baby face driver that people were, weren't really sure whether he was going to last or stick around. And, and he has, and he's been doing really well. Um, Carl Edwards is also, you know, really good guy. I had the chance to work with him on a, a show I did last year. And, mm. and uh, hearing him talk about the sport also, you kind of get a sense of everything that goes into it. He's one of those drivers that actually, you know, goes and looks through uh, all the engineering stuff and understands right. it. And I, I can barely do simple math. So <laughs> hearing him talk about that was pretty pretty sweet. Have you been to a race? I have. I, I covered Daytona 500. Oh, I was nice. in the pit. So it's, it's pretty cool stuff. I, so as a new Northeast guy, I see, you know, I see a Jersey guy who went to school in LA yeah. loving NASCAR. It's awesome. I really like it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, Edwards let me uh, kind of stand in the pits with his, with his crew uh, for one or two pit stops. I haven't gone camping yet though. I want to go to a track where you can like do the infield Rent the camp RV experience, to make yes. the whole week out Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Yeah. It's good stuff. That yeah. sound of the cars going around. Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, well publicized. You left acting for a little while, worked in the White House. Um, President Obama, i got to ask you this. Obama took yeah. a lot of heat for his brackets that he put out. Anything, yeah. you know, he's a big sports fan. Yeah, yeah. Though anytime he kind of talks about sports, he kind of takes a little heat. Justified, unjustified, what do you think? I think it's both justified and unjustified. The thing that seems to bother people with his brackets, uh, at least in the D.C. crowd, is that they're his actual picks. So there's no political calculation behind them, and people get driven crazy by this because people in D.C. are like, why wouldn't you just pick the states that you need the most help in the Senate? <laughs> it's like, because those aren't my brackets. That's, that's fake. So, uh, so obviously on the sports side of it, he gets heat, but then from politicos as well, they're, they sort of view it as, uh, you know, it's too authentic, right. which I appreciate, frankly. I think it's good he's, he's making his own picks. Last thing, Harold and Kumar crash a sporting event. Which one is it, and uh, how does that go down? Oh, man, I feel like it's got to be curling or something. <laughs> They've got to crash something that, you know, that could go easily serious. wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>